Yo, welcome back to Victoria Bandit, PC Live, Pell Day Evolved deck video, and today we're looking at Turbo Darkrai with the new set. Turbo Darkrai did pretty good last format in Scarlet and Violet. Of course, it did get top 8 at Fresno, a very strong deck that does prey heavily on Pokemon Week to Dark, but the nice thing about Darkrai is the big upgrade that I got with Squawkabilly, really putting this Turbo Dark deck back on top. Squawkabilly is a great new upgrade for Turbo Darkrai. Thanks to its ability, Squawk and Seize, once during your first turn, you may discard your hand and draw six cards. So basically the idea behind Squawk Ability is it lets you just have a really fast turn one where if you're going first, you can get a nice easy uh, new hand of six where you can discard energy to try to set up energy for Galarian Maltrez V, for Dark Patch, basically trying to get you as much energy in play on your first turn as you can. And that is all accomplishable thanks to Squawk Ability. It lets you just see like a ton of cards. And going second, you can use Squawk Ability with like research to see 13 cards, which is insane. So you can really do a lot with the Squawk Ability. And I think it is a very strong card within this deck. I think it really does upgrade Turbo Dark quite a bit and does give it some much needed speed. Of course, Dark Ride does have the attack dark pulse that does 30 plus 30 more damage for each dark energy on all of your pokemon so this deck is all about building up energy through dark patch through galarian Moltres v with its ability dire flame wings where you can attach a dark energy from your discard pile to this pokemon with galarian Moltres from evolving skies with melvin charge where when you play it from your hand onto your bench you can attach up the two dark energy to it so really just trying to funnel energy and play as quick as possible and again with the power of squawk ability and research in one turn you can really get your um energy in the discard you can get a lot you can see a lot of cards you can pull off a lot of crazy combos and that is why i think squawk ability is a fantastic upgrade to turbo dark right and again just being a dark type is good right now with the popularity of both mew and gardevoir ex and this thing can really ramp up damage and just trade pretty well in one hit ko a lot of ex's v's and v maxes pretty easily with how fast you can uh, snowball energy in to play before we do get in the video of course show to the sponsor car cabin tcg as always if you're ever looking for any pdcg live pack codes get them over at car cabin if you're looking to get any paldea evolved codes or maybe you want an older set like scarlet violet celebrations or anything like that or you want irl product car cabin does so ill product too you can get them all over at card cabin and if you get anything at card cabin at the checkout use my discount code code ldf for a frightened discount on your order help channel help yourself out and help a card cabin so shout out card cabin check them out and make sure to use code ldf if you get any codes over at Car Cabin. Also, make sure to go check out the Shuffle Squad down below. Every Monday, I post a new video to their channel. And you can also check out my second YouTube channel down below. Yeah, I got a second channel. Just hit 6,000 subs on the second channel. So if you haven't subbed to that second channel yet, make sure to subscribe down below to my second channel. And uh, yeah, let's take a look again at the list. So again, Turbo Dark, pretty straightforward stuff. Again, this deck did get top eight in Fresno in the last format. So the deck's already got off to a good start in the last format. And I think it only gets a bit better with the new set. Some other cool additions. We got Iono. Um, it does improve your Lost Box matchup slightly. Um, just being able to use Hand Disruption is pretty good. Against Lost Box, you can save a well-timed Iono. Um, we are playing two copies of Collab Stadium. Very important in this deck to discard your Squawk Abilities, or any liability for that matter. It also helps a lot against Lost Box. You can use Collab Stadium to discard heavily damaged Pokemon like Darkrai or Moltres. Whatever your opponent tries to knock out with like Dragonite, Raikou, or Sableye, you can just collapse it away. So not only is it a good way to remove important liabilities like Luminion and um, Squawk off the board, but also just lets you have a good time into Lost Box. We are playing one copy of Palpad. Really good to get your supporters back. The nice thing about Palpad is you can use it with Darkrai's V-Star Power, Star Abyss, where during your turn, you may put up the two items from your discard pile back in your hand. So Darkrai can get Palpad back. So this gives you some extra supporter leverage because this deck doesn't really play a draw engine, right? Its best draw engine is literally Greninja Squawk and then the supporters. But with Palpad and Darkrai's V-Star Power, we can kind of play around cards like Iono by putting researches back in the deck through Palpad. And we have the ability to get Palpad back super easily with Darkrai's V-Star Power. That's my Turbo Dark list. And uh, let's go shut off in action and see what Turbo Darkrai can do now with Squawk Ability. All right, playing in Shiempao, which, I mean, we can beat. The problem with this matchup is we basically have to get the first two prize knockout, and we are going second, which puts us at a immediate disadvantage, which is not fun. Honestly, I could get Galarian Moltres here and just get the baby down. I don't know. I mean, basically, we just have to go into Greninja this turn and hope they don't knock out a Darkrai the following turn. This matchup is a little tough just because of that reason alone. This matchup is beatable. This basically is just you just trade knockout for knockout. Going second does, again, put us at a massive disadvantage, as my opponent just has the nuts turn one anyways, it looks like. They didn't even need to do anything. Yeah, it's definitely a tougher matchup for us. We'll see we draw. Okay. Looks like we're double dark patching. 
So we have Squawk in there. All right, so we just want to make sure we don't have Darkrai in the active because we're going to lose otherwise. It's basically just we have to just prize trade against them. That's all we can do in this matchup. Research and see what we got going on. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. That's a pretty good research. And we still got the Squawka Billy. Yo. TCG Live needs to chill. Okay, that's pretty spice. That's, that's, that's spicy. I like it. That's a lot of energy turn one. I ain't going to lie, bro. That is a lot of energy turn one. All right. So we need to draw. I need to get a switching card here. Yes, let's go. We got a switch. Nice. We got the Galarian Moltres too, which is good. All right, that, that's this. I don't know if I could have had a better turn one. That is kind of insane. Holy moly. Um, <laughs> Dire Flame Wings. I could even conceal cards, but I don't really need... Well, yeah, we'll touch energy, sure. Uh, well, I do want to draw two cards, though. Nah, we'll conceal. I do want to see if I can get it like a Dark Eye V-Star for next turn or something. Nope, two more Dark Energy works for me, though. We can even do this. Get rid of our own squawk Billy. I, dude. Bro, we got six energy in play on the first turn of the game. That is absurd. If you want any proof that squawk Billy makes this deck broken, there you go. Now, we're just going to hope they don't have the nuts. Oh, my God, dude. Rick, can he backs? Dude, if they boss my Darkrai, if I... Oh, my gosh. Don't do it. Dude, if they kill my Darkrai, I'm going to cry this turn. Because we have the perfect turn one. That would really suck. I have a response Iono, though, if worse comes to worse. The start is so good. I am going to cry if they boss Darkrai this turn. Because they had Rick and he backs. So they don't play Irida this turn, which means they... If they have a boss's order, we're getting cooked by the book. Avery! Okay, that's fine. Get rid of the Moltres, sure. Whatever. Avery's a bit of a weird card to see, but you know what? It's better than a boss. I ain't going to complain. It's better than a boss. I don't hate that. The nice thing about taking out a one prize is I can go two prize, two prize, and then Moltres does 300 damage at the end of the game, which is good if they have a Palkia or something. Or Narcissus V Star. It's pretty awkward that they had an Avery, but again, you know what? I will take that any day over the week over a boss's order. We can always get that Moltres back. It's not a big deal. We just have the Knot with Darkrai. The question is, do I Iono or do I Luminion for a research? What are the better chances I get this knockout? Kind of a tricky spot because we're down, currently we're down two Ultra Ball. I might have to research. Iono would be good. Iono knockout Chiempao would be insane this turn. But if we're trading blow for blow, honestly, I think we have to research. I just have to not whiff the Dark Gry V Star, right? Might be better to do that, to be honest. We'll see. And before they play Pokemon Catcher, that would be the biggest meme of the year. They get rid of three energy to KO Greninja, so Greninja's kind of cool. That's why Greninja's a nice little wall to go into. It would have been better to give up a Moltres, technically, because we, we need the Greninja to maybe find Darkrai. We just need not with Darkrai. So we're at a bit of a crossroads right now. Do I Luminion for a research and have a higher chance, or do I Iono instead? Iono gives me better protection the following turn, which is what I'm thinking. If I Iono them, there's a good chance they don't draw anything good and then I'm chilling. But I also really need this knockout. I don't know if Iono's going to get me there. With Iono, we also save the Luminion to maybe boss a Shampoo if they bench it and pass. Greedy or... You know what? Iono and Prey. I'm going greedy. I'm taking the greedy route. We're taking the greedy route. Yeah, let's go. Greedy paid off. Let's get it. That's good. Still don't have a KO though, do we? 210, all right. Dark Patch is in there. Yippers. I don't want to lose my Clara. We have Palpad, though. Let's do this. We'll Ultra Ball. Get this guy back. Cook another Dark Eye V-Star. Might have been bad either, to be honest, but it's fine. Get the Galarian Moltres in play. Dire Flame Wings. Starbus now. I do need stuff back. We can go Dark Patch, Dark Energy to get... Or Dark Patch, Ultra Ball to get back Dark Eye. Yeah, sure. We'll do that. Just to have the Dark Eye in for next turn. Secured. Why not? Okay. Pop this thing, knock it out. I also want to make sure I'm signed up for a potential Palkia, but that's really good. I mean, they could still knock me out. I only gave them five new cards, but I mean, it's better than nothing. So let's see. Plus, I had a big hand off the Avery. Oh, there's Dark Rise. So now I'm punished for getting Ultra Ball back because I do the oh, Dark Rise of the prizes. So whatever. It's fine. We're in a really good spot right now. There's Xian Pao. Do they have anything else? Let's see. Let's see. 
Can they get a KO this turn? They got an energy. Okay. They're down seven energy right now. They have to have like a retrieval in their hand. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's better to research than Iono. I don't know. Let's see. If they don't knock me out, we're cooking. They need five energy. Candice! Okay, but no energy off the Candice. Okay, as long as they don't have a retrieval in their hand, this isn't going to matter because then we can just knock out this Xiampao. That's fine. I don't mind Candice. We don't mind Candice. Let's see. Do they have enough energy to knock me out? They need five energy to kill me. They basically just need a recovery card to knock me out. They literally just need a, they just need a recovery card, most likely. Well, they need five energy, right? They have two. If they don't knock me out, game's over. And game's over, we win. All right, they don't have the knockout. That's GG's, let's go. Beautiful. I mean, bro, six energy turn one, dude. And we thankfully were able to beat the Shampoo deck most likely. I'm not gonna jump the gun, obviously, but you know, we drew the dark. Why'd I get Ultra Ball back? You just uber punish. And there is the Conceda Roni. Let's go, baby. That game was a perfect showcase of how good Squawkabilly is. It was so good, it turned my opponent's card black. Yeah. Squawkabilly is insane. We got six energy in play on the first turn of the game. That is insane. All right, starting the game off with two mulligans, of course. And our starting hands, a little mid. It's not ideal, but we'll get Squawkabilly if it's not prized. Go from there. We'll see what we're playing against here. Um, maybe we can get a Toron Galarian Moltres attack. I doubt it, though. We're playing against Tinglu. All right, this actually could be tough. No abilities makes this sort of difficult. Um... And them going first is also not ideal. So we're at an immediate disadvantage because they are going first. Because that's the way the format works. They obviously have an insane stars. Yeah, this is pretty bad. This matchup actually does seem a little tough. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it, honestly. This matchup actually might not be that bad. Um, they do gutsy into an Iona, which they have to discard here, which is fine. I think as long as we're able to just chain attacks, we're fine. Not having any ability, so is not great. But we do play heavy boss, so boss could come in clutch. It's going to be hard to one-shot them, though. And again, going second, we're at an immediate disadvantage. So if we were going first, it might have been worse. Ooh, they're playing the Drapion V-Star. That's gone now, which is good. They're down two Ionos, which is nice. Hurts their chance a little bit. How many energy do they discard there? Yeah, they got two F. No. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Hmm, we'll see we draw here. All right, battle VIP, we take those. Don't mind that. We got the squawk. Did prize our Raiding Greninja, which actually kind of sucks. It's not great. Not the best prize we could have gotten. It's fine, though. We'll have to manage without Greninja. Don't really want to play Collapsed. If I play Collapsed, we shut off Raiding Alakazam, though, which is actually not... Well, I mean, they might have a Stadium in their hand. I don't really think we need to play the Collapsed. I'm just going to Squawk. Because I might want to bench Luminion at some point. Luminion can bypass as long as they don't play the, what do you call it, the thing. As long as they don't have, um... What's his face? Deep Jaw Bog. But Luminion's gone anyways. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. Not bad. We can Ultra Ball for the Galarian Moltres. Get this down. But we still have our stuff. All right. Honestly, a pretty good turn one. This is the power of the Squawk ability. Getting to see, like, 13 cards in one turn is kind of gas. Not going to lie. Um, yeah, We should pal pad here. Put back those researches. Don't think I want Iono. And then we can Dire Flame. That was a pretty good turn one. I don't think we can two-shot this thing, though. Or one-shot next turn. It's unlikely. We'll see. That was a really good start, though. See, this is the power of the Squawk ability. You get to just draw an insane turn one. And we have four energy turn one. No, the boss. That's pretty dirty. Wow. Yeah, it's a pretty annoying boss. That kind of hurts. The good news is my opponent doesn't have the ability to spread damage. So I have to put 20 on something. It's got to be the Moltres. So we still Starbus. We can still Dark Patch. That was a pretty good boss. Whatever, it's fine. Should be okay as long as we don't draw too poorly here. All right, let's see what our top deck is. Dark Patch. There we go. See, we're already off to a good start. And I whiffed the Dark Eye V-Star. Crud. We whiffed the Dark Eye, which is pretty bad, not gonna lie. I don't think they can knock me out, though, but that was a pretty big whiff. Now I don't have my V-Star power for the moment. That sucks, dude. Yeah, no Dark Eye there is pretty bad, not gonna lie. 
I don't know. Maybe I should have played the Collapse Stadium. I'm pretty sure the Collapse doesn't really do anything for us right now. I might as well save it. That's a huge whiff. We do get some damage on. I think we can kill the Tinglu next turn, but no Darkrai there is pretty bad, not going to lie. There's an Iono. Bravery Charm, that's bad. Do they play the Iono, though? They do have the two-shot my Darkrai's, which is actually kind of good, so it's not that bad. The reason I saved the Collapse Stadium, for the record, is so that if I need to get rid of a Gape Job Bog, I have the Oat. Oh, they boss me here. They actually go after my Squawk. Are they going to KO my Squawk ability? No, they're not. Well, I guess they can't. That's an interesting boss. Okay, what do we top deck here? Where's my V-Star at, bro? Where's my V-Star? Bro's hiding. Hmm. It's an interesting boss. I actually don't hate that. That's like one last boss I have. I could boss the Karai. No, that's just a bad idea. I could boss the other Tinglu. I think we just go for the knockout. My opponent doesn't have any energy on the other Tinglu. If we can get a knockout, we're cooking. And yeah, there's Darkrai. There's no damage on it either. So we have a pretty good... Oh, yeah, yeah, we're cooking. Watch this. Star Abyss. Let's get some Dark Patches back. Yeah. Could have got Palpat, actually. Would have been okay. Would, would Palpat have been okay? Eh, yeah, I could have got Palpat, too. I think it's fine, though. So... We are down a Dark Rite V Star. Which I can't really. Okay, here's what we do we bench the Moltres, get the energy on it, and then we just Dark Patch. One here. Spread the energy out, I guess. Sure. Just in case. Don't want to put it all in one basket, and then knock out. And next turn, if we get one more energy, which we should be able to do if my opponent doesn't promote the Tinglu, because we're just going to one-shot it with that Bravery Charm on, and yeah, there's an energy. So next turn, as long as we don't get Ionoed, we're chilling. I think they have an Iono in their hand, though. Yeah, I think there's an Iono in their hand. So I think we're getting Ionoed here. Hmm. They give me the Tinglu anyways. So I think this is where we win the game. My opponent has been unable to get energy on the Tinglu. There's the Iono. All we need is an energy, and we knock them out. Can we get energy? Okay, we got a boss. So at least we can boss Dire Flame, and we can still take a knockout on something this turn, but... Okay, if we draw an energy card, we win the game. Because we just knock out their Tinglu and the game's over, basically. Energy. Hey, let's go, baby. And, yep, there's the Scooperoni. Had we not drawn the energy, I would have just bossed the Coridon, knocked it out. But Tinglu, I mean, I guess the matchup's not as bad as I thought. Maybe it's better to go second so that you can play your abilities. Because if you go first, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's better to go for a second. Either way, this matchup doesn't seem that bad, actually. Especially with the two-shot, your Dark Rise. All right, we're going second in this matchup as we did lose the coin flip. Our start is not too bad, though. So it might be better going second. If we were going first, we would not have been able to really have an explosive turn one. Playing against Dialga V-Star might actually be a tough matchup, especially as we are going second. So as long as my opponent does not have, like, Rodom in the deck, it's okay. Yeah, otherwise, going second here is not great. Best top deck is probably a ball card. I would like to play Escape Rope. All right, no Rodom, so that's good. We can capitalize on them, hopefully not being able to get a turn two Magnezone. That's kind of the goal here into this matchup as we are going second. They play an Ultra Ball. Interesting. If they have Rodom in the deck, that is pretty annoying. No shot, right? Is it in there? Okay, no Rodom. They grab Dialga. Right, they have a one card hand, and they get rid of a Magnezone. It's safe to say they probably don't have much going on, so that's good. All right, another energy. I mean, that's not bad. Set up Dark Patch on Dark Rye. Could rope here. So I can't do... When do we want to rope? We can rope. Well, I do want. I do like them having the two... I mean, this matchup is all about trading. I don't think we want to play rope. Okay, let's see what we got. All right, not too shabby. Got Battle VIP, which is perfect. We can get Greninja and Squawkabilly. We can bench the Dark Rye. Yeah, I don't want to play Rope, because, I mean, this matchup is all about just taking back-to-back... -back we just have to take a two-prize knockout, like, every single turn, and it's a lot easier to pull that off when we have the um, Dialga already in the active. We have Pelpat in there. Probably have the Starbus that back. Could play the Collapsed. No real re... Well, they could have a Luminion in their hand. What are the chances there's a Luminion? Kind of tempted to, actually. Just deny the Lum deny I'm Luminion. Then I can't play Galarian Moltres down, which I... Nah, you know what? I'm not going to play the Collapsed. There's no way that's a Luminion. If it's a Luminion, then you know what? I will... I'll, whatever. I'll take the L there. 
Not a great, not a great squawkabilly. Let's try this. Okay, no dark patch in sight. Damn. Not a great turn one. Not as explosive as I wanted it to be. We didn't find any dark patch, which is pretty bad. So that's not as good as I thought it would be. Kind of a rough, rough hand. I gotta lose two boss. Okay, let's see if they have anything in their hand here. <laughs> they had a research. Are you kidding me? Oh, God. Okay, if they get Rare Candy Magnezone off this, that's going to be so bad. No shot, right? No way they get Rare Candy Magnezone off this. I don't think I can kill their Dialga, though. That's kind of an issue. It's just not good. And our hand is not great either. Done a lot of supporters, too. Ah, this is pretty rough. Mid draws all around on my end. Nothing I can really do about it. They did have Rotom in the deck, but they decided not to play it last turn, which is interesting. That's odd that they didn't do turn one Rodom. I guess they had the research. They didn't want to lose important cards. Choice spell. That's pretty good. I could boss kill Rodom. Don't think that's a good idea, though. I think I definitely just have to chase the knockout. I don't think I can get a KO this turn, but we'll see. Let's go research. Okay, hold the phone. That's not a bad hand. If I had switched, though, this would be a lot better. And I can't play rope, obviously. Okay, well, Dark Patch. I don't think I can take a knockout here. We can make him commit the Star Chronos to the active, though, which is pretty good. So at the very least, we can do that. Yeah, at the retreat. No, I don't have a knockout this turn. Well, let's conceal cards first. See what I got. Okay. Uh, it's not terrible, but not great either. Maybe I can take a knockout. If I had a switch here, I think I would definitely have a knockout if I had a switch. Okay, let's do this. We can... Starbus. For Dark Patch Pelpad. I basically have to get the Pelpad back. I'm already down two boss. So we're going to have to get rid of... Get the double research back. Hmm. Yes, yeah, is unfortunate. We can retreat. Dark Patch. Dire Flame. Yeah, I'm like... I think I might be one energy off. I don't think I have a KO. I might be wrong. I might, might be math and wrong, but yep. We're two energy off of a knockout rip. That's unfortunate. They definitely have Rare Candy Magnezone in their hand, which is pretty bad. So this is pretty bad. If I had a switch there, I think we could have KO'd. I think we could have KO'd if I had a switch. We'll see. This is still winnable, though. I mean, if they don't knock me out this turn... I think we're big chilling, but they definitely have Hurricane Magnezone. Their hand is huge. Like, I maybe could have Lumineon for Iono, but the Galarian Moltres was pretty important. They get a Magneton. Do they not have Hurricane Magnezone? If they don't, okay, if they don't have Hurricane Magnezone, I think we actually might have a shot of winning this game. If they actually don't have it, I think we might have a shot of winning. I don't think they have it. They don't have it. Okay, they're stuck. I mean, I don't really have much going on either, but that is better than that. All right, let's see. We top deck here. Ultra Ball gets me another Dark Rise. Let's go Conceal Cards. I'm going to save the Galarian Moltres. Okay, we got Iono and Boss. It's pretty good. So let's go Dire Flame Wings. I could Iono them here. Now they can Star Chronos me. I think we're going to have to Ultra Ball. I might have to play the Iono. I didn't want to lose my Galarian Moltres V like that because I kind of need it for the energy, but I want to get the Dark Rite. I have an idea. So how much am I doing right now? 270 and one off okay if i had the ability to kill that dialga on the bench we'd be cooking don't really want to iono them but i might have to could wait to iono though i'd prefer to retreat this turn okay let's iono i think i have to retreat knock out another dark guy so i don't want to get star chronos in the active that'd be really bad okay nice we got the switch switch is good all right not bad we can attach switch um do this. Get rid of these two. We have 10 cards left in the deck. No, they're all good cards. Okay, we'll knock them out. I need to do that, because if I stay in the active, they'll Star Chronos my active Darkrai, and that's pretty bad. I mean, they might not even get to Star Chronos, obviously, but we're just not taking the risk. All right. Collapsed is fantastic. I can use... I could actually collapse my other Darkrai, or I can collapse a Squawk off the board. All right. Th that's good. They, they haven't gotten a knockout yet. I'm actually feeling pretty good right now. All right, let's see what they got here. They have an Arvin. That guarantees Rare Candy Magnezone, or at least that gets a Magnezone, but... 
The question will be, will they get the Star Kronos? We'll see. If they discard energy from their hand, which they don't. They have double Rodom V? Dang, double Rodom. So even if they Star Kronos here, they have to have like a boss in their hand too. To like really make the most of this. Zamazenta? Okay, that's fine. All right, do they have it? Let's see. Can they get three energy off of Magnezone? Let's see. How much energy do they hit here? One, two, three. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they hit the three energy? No. <laughs> no. Okay, that's really, really bad. Okay, we'll give them Greninja. Well, they have to start Cronus active. They didn't have a boss play. Maybe we're okay. Let's we'll see what they got. If they have a boss, that's pretty... Well, it's not actually that bad they have a boss. It doesn't really matter if they have a boss or not. It's pretty bad, though. They had the they hit the three energy off the Giga Magnet. It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. Okay. I think we're chilling. So, I have to one-shot them this turn in order to win the game. And then we can just win the game with Delarian Moltres on the Zam. So I just need a one-shot Dialga this turn. I think I can get to that. I think I can get to the one-shot. Oh, yeah. We're definitely getting there. So first things first, we'll Dire Flame Wings. How much are we doing right now? Yep. We got him. They're cooked. Dark Patch. We can... Yeah, we already have the Knockout, so we can just do this. Draw some more cards. I don't even really want to bench that. Yeah, it's not really much of a point. Well, I do want to get rid of my squawk ability. It doesn't even matter anymore if I get rid of the squawk or not. I don't think it really matters what I do here. Getting rid of squawk doesn't really make a difference anymore. I think I'd rather save the energy in my hand too, just in case I have to conceal cards next turn. So this is Ultra Ball. Because if they knock me out, we just hit them for 220 and knock out Zam for game. Or we can dig for boss. Let's just knock him out. We kind of have them at checkmate at this point. As long as we're one shot in the Dialga V-Star, that's all that matters. All right, let's see what our two prizes are here. We do get Iono and Dark Patch. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, next turn, we just... I mean, they can't win this turn. There's no way they can win this turn. They had to commit their Star Chronos to kill my Dark Ride, which is what I was hoping for, and it worked out. So, all we got to do, and that's a research. I think that's GG's. That's not an Iono. That's not hand disruption. As long as they don't play Bravery Charm, we should win the game because Galarian Moltres can do 220 damage. So, I think we've won. I don't think they can do anything to stop me here. Double Magnezone won't do much. We got lucky. Magnezone can't one-shot Darkrai. Um, we have 150 HP. This thing only does 120. So, if for whatever reason this thing can attack, it doesn't work against me, which is pretty good. So, yeah. Even if, like, even if we weren't winning this turn, we would just be able to Grid Ninja to try to find boss, which is risky. I think the Serena's prize, too. So, one of my last two prizes are Serena's, I mean... We weren't guaranteed to win this next turn, obviously, if they did have a kill on my Dark Ride this turn, but I think we got him. I don't think they can win this turn. And I don't think we can lose this turn either. Even if they go Magnezone, they hit me for 120, I just knock it out and be like, all right, what are you going to do now? You know what I mean? So it's like basically checkmate. Their only win con was to set up another Dialga. If they had another Dialga V-Star in play, I would be in a bit of trouble, but yeah, this should be GG's. They knock me out. And then I think we just take the dub here with Dark Ride. Dialga is a scary matchup for sure, um, but we take those. Hmm. Out of curiosity, was I going to find the boss's order? Out of curiosity. Nope. Okay, so there we go. We weren't going to find the boss, so we had to basically just knock out the active. And it all worked out in the end, and that's GG's. I'm pretty sure my Serena was prized, right? Oh, no, wait. Was Serena, was Serena in the deck? Or was it in the discard? I don't even know. Either way, we win the game. doesn't matter. We got the dub. Galarian Moltres. Baby, it's pretty darn good. All right, let's try out Darkrai V-Star here with the addition, of course, of Squawkabilly. My opponent is going to go first. Puts us at a bit of a disadvantage, but we do get to play supporters, though, which is good. So, who's laughing now? We open up with Squawk and Darkrai. We'll open up with Squawkabilly. So, we can actually do Motivate turn one, which is kind of a weird play, but it is an option. Ooh, we're up against... I actually have no idea what this is. Reverse energy, retrieval, generator. I I actually have no idea what I'm up against. Two extra cards is good, though. More energy, the merrier. Yeah, pretty good start. We can battle VIP. Yeah. They leave with a Reggie Lucky, though. So Squawk ability is weak to lightning. I mean, it is kind of annoying if they do not get my Squawk here. 
Um, but I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to, like, lose my Dark Cry. I think it's fine to do Motivate and just build up a ton of energy. The 20 damage could be relevant, too. There's a generator. They get the, they get one energy, so yeah, Squawk's probably going to get KO'd next turn. We could Rope into Dark Cry. Yeah, I think we're, I mean, yeah, yeah, you know what? Just to be safe, I think we're going to do this. We're going to battle VIP for you. We're going to go attach, rope, research. It's a lot of energy. We don't mind a lot of energy, though. We can dark patch. Um, squawk the hand away. Yep, it's fine. I'm not going to bench anything. We don't want to get knocked out next turn by Raikou. We're going to try to avoid that if we can. We can Dire Flame Wings. And just like that, we drew a lot of cards in one turn, all thanks to Squawk Ability. And we'll pass. We just try to avoid getting KO'd next turn. My opponent didn't really play much, so we're just going to hope that my Dark Ride does not get KO'd. It's hopefully unlikely. We'll see what happens. There is a chance, but we're going to just pray they don't got it. That's why I didn't bench, like, Greninja or anything, because I don't want to get knocked out. But we're in a pretty good spot right now. We have Dark Ride V-Star. Um, Squawk being in play could be a liability but my opponent doesn't have anything they're just lighting rondo and that's what i like to see so thanks to squawk ability we were able to get a really fast turn one there and set up a ton of energy um in the discard pile which is good so having go attach we can nest ball for radiant greninja an ultra ball for another dark ride we do have palpat in the deck right yeah okay i was gonna say because we are running thin on researches and stuff so that's good so we got one energy in there. All right, research it is. Let's see what we got. Not bad. We can concealed cards here to draw more cards with Greninja. No energy off that rip. Ooh, do we have a knockout this turn is the question. How much are we doing right now? 180. So we have the Star Abyss for Dark Patch. Sure. Do we just go double Dark Patch here? Or is it worth it to maybe get a switch? I think Double Dark Patch is correct. Well, they knock me out. We can go Dark Patch, Moltres. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Double Dark Patch seems fine. I'm not sure we really need Escape Rope. I mean, maybe we might need it. I think it's fine. And then we can just blow up this Ryaku turn two with Dark Rai. Pretty good stuff. A lot of energy set up. All thanks to the Squawkability. We can take the knockout here. We'll take four and five, which are Dark Patch energy. I want to make sure we get the Galarian Moltres in play at some point. My opponent can knock me out this turn with the Reggie Lecky VMAX. There's Maridon. One turn too late, potentially, for that Maridon to really make a difference. But we'll see if they end up getting a prize. If they don't get a knockout this turn, I we just win the game. So my opponent basically has to kill the Dark Ride this turn. Or else we just flat out probably just win. Like, I don't think my opponent can win the game if Dark Ride lives. So they got to kill the Dark Ride this turn. Or else it's looking pretty good. We'll see what they got here. They do have three cards in hand. Um... Do they have anything? Do they have a supporter? Or do they have any way to play the game? So we have boss in hand. So we can just boss the Maridon up, knock it out, and that'll just be how she goes. The part of the Reggie Lecky. We can knock out the Reggie Lecky, I guess. Reversal energy. That doesn't do anything. That's not going to do anything. Yeah, they're stuck doing 30 damage. Yeah, we're, we're chilling. Reversal energy doesn't work. I mean, I guess they... I guess we have to boss that Reggie Lecky because they get the VMAX and play next turn. Honestly, I think we can kill the VMAX too. I think it's possible to kill the VMAX. Let's go conceal cards. And yeah, nice. We can Dire Flame Wings. Why not? We can... I could play the Baby Moltres to get this other energy in play. I can also attach it for now. I think we're just going to attach the energy and then we're just going to... It's going to boss... We'll kill the Reggie Lecky with the Reversal on because they can still attach next turn and attack with Reggie Lecky V Max. We'll just kill the active. We have game in hand. I should have maybe went Serena because then I could have bossed Maridon for game, but I think we can actually on it. Yeah, okay, never mind. We got boss. I was going to say, even if so, I think we can honestly one shot a Reggie Lecky V Max, even if somehow they manage to pull off Reggie Lecky, but they don't got nothing. The game is basically over now. I don't think we can lose anymore. I think we just kind of ran them over here. And it should be GG's. Even if they have like an Iono or something, we still have a ton of cards. Like maybe we should have actually Ultra Balled. Yeah, I should have thinned my hand down a little bit more actually before I took the knockout there. I kind of got a little, 
I mean, it doesn't really matter. I kind of got a little ahead of myself. I don't think it really matters anymore because I think we do just flat out win here. We just kind of have the, like, perfect hand to just kind of checkmate. Like, there's nothing they can really do. They can't boss stall me. They can't do much. So I think we win. They don't seem to have anything. We just kind of ran them over with Darkrai. And that's the power of Darkrai. If Darkrai just sets up and just kind of does its thing, this deck is just almost unstoppable. That's just how good it is. Yeah, and there's, there's the concede. My opponent scoops it up. And that's just the power of Darkrai V-Star. And there you have that. It's Darkrai V-Star in action again. Turbo Dark is back on top, all thanks to the Squawk ability, giving this deck a huge boost in power with how fast and aggressive your turn ones can be when you get a ton of energy in play, all thanks to the Squawk ability. I like the list a lot. I think everything really checks out. Um, I definitely like the double collapse. There is room, though, for more stadiums. Like, if you really wanted to put another stadium in here, you could. Maybe, like, a Temple of Sinnoh. I did originally try out Pokestop, but we don't play as many items as, like, the other Dark Rider lists. I found Pokestop to be not that good, but definitely you could experiment with, like, a Pokestop. I like Temple of Sinnoh, too. It's not a bad idea. Uh, Temple of Sinnoh could be decent in here. Everything in the deck feels pretty good. The one one choice belt, maybe two choice belts needed, but overall Turbo Dark Rai really does pack a punch. And I think that this deck is just really good and super fast, all thanks to the Squawk ability helping you out quite a bit. But that'll be for me of Yandre Chase PCG Live uh, video on Dark Rai. Make sure to leave a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 45,000 subs. I'm trying to see if we can hit 45K by my birthday on July 22nd. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure to click that subscribe button down below. Check our card cabin down below. If you get any codes, use code you have to check out my Twitch, my Twitter, and my Discord, and the Shovel Squad down below, and my second YouTube channel, and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you all on another PCG Live video. Bye-bye.